Hey guys, my name is Erin Durham and I'm a documentary filmmaker. So in this video, it's less than two minutes long and I'm gonna teach you just the extra steps past what Matt's told you that it takes to create a dynamic video. So in addition to the list Matt just gave you, location, composition, lighting, lenses, and post, those are all just as important for video. But video, you have to go that next step because you're watching people move and unless they're professional models, they might have a hard time doing that organically. First thing is you need multiple angles. I made sure that Grant and Michael walked through each of these locations three times. And it looks like you had multiple camera angles, i.e. multiple shooters, and you didn't. That entire shoot took us less than an hour. And the way we were able to do that was we had our shoot well planned out and we thought of these things in advance. We also had a game plan for how to work together because he needed to get stills and I needed to get video and we couldn't be in each other's shots. Here's our cute Matt Benswell setting up composition, getting a shot, and having fun. The second thing is continuity, making sure that you don't cross a bridge and then 30 seconds later walk past that same bridge. That takes a video from, from cute to professional. The third and most important element for me is emotion, capturing emotion. All you have to do is make them comfortable with you, make them comfortable with your camera or to forget about your camera, and then you're able to just capture who they are. That's my favorite part of this, is moving past the stiffness and into these just organic emotions where they look like themselves, like Michael and Grant, the people I know and have coffee with.